Welcome to the Madison Miller Podcast Special Edition Series where I preview and predict every men's college basketball conference tournament. We are on the 29th of 32, so we have four more to go, and this one's going to be the SWAC, the Southwestern Athletic Conference. Um, we're going to go look at the seeds real quick for this tournament. Your one seed is Alcorn State. 15 and 15 on the season, 14 and 4 in conference play. Your two seed is Texas Southern, 15 and 12 on the year, 13 and 5 in conference play. Your three seed is Southern, 17 and 13 on the year, 12 and 6 in conference play. Your four seed is Florida AM, 13 and 16 on the year, 11 and 7 in conference play. Your five seed is Alabama AM, 11 and 17 on the year, 10 and 8 in conference play. Your six seed is Grambling State, 11 and 19 on the year, 9 and 9 in conference play. Your seven seed is Jackson State, 11 and 18 on the year, 9 and 9 in conference play. Your 8 seed is Prairie View A&M, 8 and 18 on the year, 8 and 10 in conference play. Did not qualify Alabama State, 9 and 21 on the year, 8 and 10 in conference play. Bethune Cookman, 9 and 21 on the year, 7 and 11 in conference play. Arkansas Pine Bluff, 7 and 24 on the year, 5 and 13 in conference play. And Mississippi Valley State, 2 and 26 on the year, 2 and 16 in conference play. This tournament will get underway on Wednesday, March 9th, and the quarterfinals will be two days, semifinals Friday, the 11th, and the championship will be Saturday, March 12th on ESPNU. All right, getting started, 3 o'clock Eastern, 2 o'clock Central, the quarterfinals of the SWAC, 7 seed Jackson State, 2 seed Texas Southern for Bartow Arena. Um, Jackson State, two guys averaging double-digit points per game. Well, one player was out for most of the year, Gabe Watson at 14-9 a game, but they'll be relying on JVS McKinnis at 12.3 a game and 10.2 boards, so he's a double-double guy. And Texas Southern, no players averaging double-digit points per game, which is amazing. Very well balanced, though. Led by Jordan Carl Nicholas, John Walker III, and Bryson Etienne. My projection is Texas Southern by five and three quarters, so a one three one and two fifths. So therefore, I have Texas Southern advancing. Second of two quarterfinal games on March 9th. Eight seed Prairie View A&M and two or one seed Alcorn State. Um, Prairie View, um, four guys averaging double figures a game. Jawan Daniels at fifteen three. Jeremiah Gamble at eleven nine. Darrell Roberts at eleven two. And William Douglas at 10. Alcorn State. Um, only two players averaging double-figure points per game. Justin Thomas at 10.5. And Keandre Montgomery at 10.2. Projection. Prairie View by one and a quarter. Total 142 in a fifth. So therefore, I Prairie View upsetting Alcorn State. From a seeding standpoint. March 10th, two more quarterfinal games. Six seed Grambling, three seed Southern. Grambling, two guys averaging double digit points per game. Cam Christian at 13 and a half, and Tremichael Moten at 10.4. And Southern has three guys averaging double digit points per game. Tyrone Lines at 13.7. Brian Whitley at 11-6, and Jaden Sadler at 11-2. My projection is Southern by 5.5, total 138 and 4 fits. So, therefore, I have Southern advancing. And the last of four quarterfinal games in, this, in the second of two on March 10th, 5-seed Alabama A&M and 4-seed Florida A&M. So, the Battle of A&Ms. Bama A&M, two guys averaging double-digit points per game. Jalen Johnson at 15-9, and Garrett Hicks at... 13-8, and Florida A&M, three guys averaging double-digit points per game. MJ Randolph at 18-9 a game. Um, Jalen Spears barely played. He's averaged 10.8, and um, Bryce Morgan at 10.2 points per game. Um... My projection for this game is Florida A&M by 4 and an 8, total 130 and 9 tenths, so therefore Florida A&M advancing. All right, the semifinals, Friday, March 11th, 3 o'clock Eastern, 2 o'clock Central. You got 
three seed Southern, two seed Texas Southern. Um, the best player on the court is probably Lions, and then Whitley and Sadler. They probably have the best three players on the court, but I think that Texas Southern, despite not having a single player averaging double figure points per game, I think is um. Very well balanced. I like Texas Southern here. I have them projected as a 2 and 5 eighths favorite, so therefore I have Texas Southern in the championship. The second of two semifinal games, which would be 5.30 Eastern and um, 4.30 um, Central. 8-seed Prairie View A&M and 4-seed Florida A&M. So again, two A&M teams. Um, I think that Florida might have the best player in Randolph on the court. But Prairie View is low key really deep. They go um they have a really good um foursome and I know Roberts really hasn't played much this year. Um he hasn't played since February. Um but I think Prairie View's deep. I have them projected as a one and three. It's favorite. So therefore, I have Prairie View, the 18, advancing all the way to the championship game on Saturday, March 12th, taking on Texas Southern. That would be at 5 o'clock Central, 6 o'clock Eastern on ESPNU. Um, I just think that this is where Prairie View's magical ride will come to an end. I think Southern, I should say Texas Southern at its balance will prevail here. I have them projected as a 5 and 7 eighth favorite, so therefore I have Texas Southern winning the 2022 Southwest Athletic Conference Tournament and advancing to the big dance. Um, last year, did they win it? Yes. They're the team that usually comes out of this conference. It probably would have been Prairie View or potentially Southern or Texas Southern again if it had not been for the pandemic. Um... Prairie View won in 19. Texas Southern won in 18. So Texas Southern's been pretty much the dominant team from a postseason standpoint in terms of who makes the big dance from this conference. And before um, I um, uh, finish off this show, I want to go over the odds for this tournament on FanDuel if they have them. I mean, if they have MEAC, they got to have SWAC, you would think, right? Let's see. Um, Southland SWAC. Texas Southern's a plus 190 favorite. Southern's plus 260. Alcorn plus 350. Prairie View's 10 to 1. Jackson State's 13. Florida M16. Alabama and M22. And Grambling 32. Um, so there are some standouts in terms of odds. Um, I think that um, the value is on uh, Florida M with uh, Randolph. They're 16 to 1. So if I had a value pick for this tournament, it's Florida A&M at 16 to 1. But my pick is Texas Southern yeah, at plus 290. So... There you have it for the SWAC. And next up is going to be the Mid-American Conference, the MAC.